If you need to update your deck, go to 50cards.shop. Get 5% off your next purchase when you use code NEXUS. Hey everybody, welcome back to another deck profile. Richard, and uh, I picked up a Tachikaze deck because <laughs> uh, cause dinosaurs are cool. So I basically picked up a bunch of Tachi stuff and I decided I'm gonna go ahead and kind of show off the Raptor deck before we rotate into the Spino Driver stuff. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into the deck profile. Starting off with our, the best starter, which is a uh, minimum Carno, mini, mini Carno. The same as the other V starters, you draw and get a quick shield if your opponent's at grade one. And um, it's not SP, but it'd be really cool if it was. Speaking of SPs, uh, starting with our grade three lineup, we have four copies of Raptor Colonel. So Raptor Colonel is once per turn, when it attacks, you kind of bust one, eat things. Uh, eat things means eat rear guards. Uh, you can eat as many as you want. If you eat five or more, it restands. Uh, it also gets 5k for everything you eat, which is pretty cool. The second skill is continuous. If you call something during the battle phase, the thing you call gets 5k. So you have things like Raptor Captain, which calls itself back during the battle phase. And then you have other skills that call things out of the gauges. There's a lot of calling during the battle phase. So Raptor Colonel helps out with that. So next up for grade threes, I am running three copies of Gigano Blazer. Gigano is, is the backup just because it helps you set up a board. And the extra 5k is honestly really good. So the first skill is if you equip three or more gauges during this turn, it gets 5k to front row continuously. Second skill is act, counter blast, soul blast. You draw two call two from your hand and then you put you may put gauges on the two things that you called so that's immediately two gauges right away this is just your backup but it's also just a really good setup and then kernel is just your kill turn so now we're going into the grade twos four copies of the captain this is a captain when it's rode upon by kernel you can soul blast one search your deck for two military dragons so it's like a grade two or less military dragons so the captain or the sergeant so it helps you build a board, but you have to ride Colonel on top of it and you have to Soul Blast. And the second skill, which is really good, when it dies, if you have a gauge on it, you can call this back. So it's just a free call, which is really nice. It's just a Raptor card. So you want to play a playset of it. I think it's pretty good. Next up, we got some Rex support. We got the Mega Rex. Mega Rex uh, lets you kill off things for free. So that's why we're running it. Really good when you ride it, just because you can ride, retire something, get a draw. Um, and then if it's on rear, you can kind of blast one, put a gauge on this, and it gets 5k for each gauge that it has. So he can be a big beefy boy, but most importantly, it's just to like, retire things. The actual like key card of the deck, or like the one version of it, uh, Regidon. So what this does is when this is retired, if it has a gauge on it, you can choose one of the gauges that was on this unit, call it back to the rear guard circle. And then the second skill, oh, well, continuing on with that is that if you do do the skill, you can't do the skill of the same card, the same name for the rest of the turn. And then the skill after that is when it attacks, you put the top card of your deck into another rear guard as a gauge. So you can, or a rear guard, so you can actually pick itself, swing, put a gauge on it. So that's really nice. Lastly, for grade two is three copies of the Spino Exor, Spinosaurus is a, a pretty dope dinosaur. When it attacks a vanguard, kind of lost one, retire another rear guard, and if that rear guard they retired had a gauge on it, you can call the gauge and then call the unit that was the gauge originally, and then you can put a gauge onto that unit, which is pretty cool. So it kind of just keeps going with the gauge effects. Exor just kind of helps you extend your attacks because obviously you swing, you kind of blast, you call something back out. It does suck that it costs a counter blast because the deck can get kind of counter blast heavy when you incorporate uh, Colonel, Gigano Blazer, and the Exor with no real counter charge engine. So that's just the one. Oh, and also Mega Rex. So you gotta kind of keep in mind how you're using your counter blast, but going aggro with this comes in handy. So next up for grade ones, I'm only running three copies of the Sergeant. It is a good ride. I do like that, but I feel like the shooter is the better ride. So that's why I'd like to kind of ratio it that way. What it does is when it plays on ban, you look at top seven, search for a grade two or greater uh, military dragon. So you're either looking for captain or colonel. Second skill is when this attacks or boosts, you choose one of your regards that doesn't have a gauge on it and you put a gauge on it. So that's also really helpful. It's searchable with, um, captain so I don't really have to worry about running multiple copies and I feel like because you have to put a gauge on something that has no gauges you're kind of it's kind of wonky when you have a lot of these and it's like oh my gauges are kind of full anyway so the three copies works fine next up MVP of the deck savage shooter what it does is when you ride it you soul blast one choose a card from your hand call it you put a gauge on it uh, it doesn't say it has to be a specific grade so you could literally call down a grade three if you want 
or a Rizzi Dawn, so that's pretty cool. Second skill is act, you just rest it, put a gauge on something, it's super free, and you're gonna be killing your regards anyway, so you can just put this in back row, it dies. Easy. Shoot has always been a great card. Lastly, four great ones, we got our Rizzi Dawn clone, which is blue sprint, literally the exact same skill of Rage Udon, but on a great one with 8k base. So when it swings, you put a gauge on something. When it dies, you choose one of the gauges and you call it out to the red circle. If you use the effect, you can't use the effect of the card with the same name for the rest of the turn. So that does mean if you have this and Rage Udon, you can use both, but that's as far as you get. Now we're moving on to our triggers. Everyone's favorite heal triggers, heal guardians, same as all the other ones. Place on guard circle if you haven't rode in grade three. You can either get 10k for the turn or reduce the crit by two for the battle. And then if you call it from hand, you have no damage, you put the top card of your deck in your damage zone. Always run four, because we're playing V Premium. Four PGs it is a very, very standard lineup just because it's a uh, very crit centric because you just want to kill your opponent. Uh, you have a restanding Vanguard, so having crits on your van is really helpful. So that's why we're just doing a draw, or sorry, four draw and a crit. So we got our classic Black Cannon Tiger and our Dinosaur Crit because it's a dinosaur deck. You want to run dinosaurs. So yeah, eight crit, four draw, four heal. Very, uh, very classic Vanguard right there. So that's pretty much it for the deck profile. I, I don't believe I'm going to be showing too many games with this in the future or probably any games just because just with the timing we are getting Spinal Driver Reverse coming up pretty quickly so you'll probably be seeing some Spinal Driver Reverse content in the near future. I just want to show off um, my kernel deck since I had happened to pick up some Tachikaze stuff so thank you guys for watching. You guys know the drill just leave any comments, questions, or concerns below and see you on the next one. Bye.